The solar spectacle began in Oregon, where thousands gathered in Depot Bay to witness the moon black out the sun. And when it finally happened, there was plenty to cheer about. It just kind of tickled you and all over. It was wonderful, wonderful. And um, I wish I could do it again, but I won't ever see something like that ever again. So I'm really glad that I took the day off of work <laughs> so that I could experience this. You can start to see red now. The rare cosmic event created near darkness and a drop in temperature and drew huge crowds to cities and towns in its path across the U.S. In Carbondale, Illinois, all 15,000 seats to the football stadium at Southern Illinois University were sold out. It's where eclipse totality lasted the longest in the U.S., although spectators were momentarily disappointed when clouds blocked out the view. As the eclipse made its way to the Atlantic coast, President Trump, First Lady Melania and son Barron stepped out onto the balcony of the White House to watch the show. The last time a spectacle unfolded from one U.S. coast to the other was in 1918. For watchers in Charleston, South Carolina, 2017's version was a celestial treat they'll never forget. And then you saw the corona and everybody was like, oh my God, it's the corona. And everybody started clapping and people were cheering and it was great.